Hi guys and welcome to part 22 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On the last part we created our shopping cart item and on this part we are going to add methods to it. Since shopping cart class is going to interact with the database, for that we need to always inject the AppDB context service. Next we create our first method which is going to be a static method named getCart. We are going to implement our card by using the session ID. So for that, we need to first import the ASP.NET Core HTTP namespace. And we are going to use the getRequireService method to get access to our sessions. And we always need to use the session to check if we already have stored the card ID in there. And at the end, we are going to store to that session the card ID value. We are going to return a shopping cart object which contains our context and our card ID session. The next important function for a card is the functionality to add something to the card. So for that we write this function. The add to card function gets two parameters. The first one is the drink parameter and the second one the amount of that drink. So what it basically does is that it checks if we actually have shopping cart items and if not it's going to create one where the shopping cart ID it's coming from this property in here and the drink is the one that we are going to add. The amount, since we don't have any of the drink in our card, is going to be one. And the next step is going to be that we add it to our AppDB context shopping cart items. In case we have already a shopping cart item, then we simply increment the amount by one. The next important function is the remove from cart and it's basically like add to cart function. So in here it just checks if the amount is more than one. So if the amount of a single drink is more than one, it will simply decrement the amount by one. And if not, then it's going to remove that shopping cart item. The next important function is the get shopping cart items. This will simply return all the shopping cart items. Another important function is the clear cart function and what this clear cart function does that it basically gets all the shopping cart items for a shopping cart and removes them. The last function for this class is the get shopping cart total and this get shopping cart total simply for every item that we have in our cart. So for each drink that we have in our cart, it gets the price, multiplies it by amount and then makes the sum of them. So we have the summary of our cart. So as we have already mentioned for this card, we are using the session packages, but before we start our application, so we go to our project.json file and we add three additional packages. After you save the project.json file, the packages will be downloaded and restored. To configure them on the configure.services method, we are going to add two more configurations. So the first one basically provides an instance for the IHTTP context accessor. The second one use the add scope, which means that it creates an object which is associated with a request. So this means that two different people at the same time asking for the shopping cart object are going to get different instances. Next, we need to configure this session as well. So for that, after the MVC, we are going to add the add memory cache and add session methods. So in the configure services method, we have configured the services, but it's very important that before the use MVC with default route, we add another property in here. And this is the session configuration. So this is all for this part. And on the next part, we are going to create our shopping cart controller. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.